Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. We couldn't hear you. I saw that you were <laughs> you were moving your lips, but I couldn't hear what you were saying. Yeah, I'm sorry, because I didn't have the microphone on. Well, just on time. <laughs> <laughs> How was your day? Was it good? Oh, it was a uh, busy, busy, busy. Um, I have just arrived home. Oh, really? Yes. I must be tired. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Or you are used to that schedule already? Um, yes, we have to to live to make a, uh, a service with our microbus. Oh, all right. Yeah. We went to the volcano. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. So it's been a long day, but you had fun as well. Oh, yes, because the... Um, the weather was very nice. Wow, I can't imagine. Yeah. Oh. And what about you? Well, it was really good, actually. It was really good, kind of busy as well. By working since 6 a.m. till today, we're still working, right? But that's how it is. So we <gasps> have to, to do what oh we can do. <laughs> oh my god 6 a.m 6 a.m today i woke up at 5 a.m actually 5 a.m oh yeah <laughs> but we didn't well uh, we went to the airport last night too after after this class we went to the airport with my husband too uh, because uh there were so many uh, two people who didn't speak Spanish, so I had to go with him. And we went to to live then uh, to La Libertad, no, Quesal uh, Tepeque, that's that's the name of the, of right. the town. Yeah. And wow. we came back at 3.30 a.m. Wow. <laughs> you just slept like around three, four hours. Yes, of course. And then we had to come back um, at, um, uh, at two o'clock, at two p.m., two p.m. o'clock, to get to the volcano with them too. Wow! So, are you kind of a translator or something? Oh yes, yes. I I try to do my best there. <laughs> uh, so that's the way we learn. So now that we're talking about that, did you do like the the certificate thing? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you did it right. No, no, no. I couldn't. Sorry. No, no problem. So we're going to see if anyone else did it. Katia, you did you already finish the the platform? Yes, teacher. And did you try to request for the certificate? Mm, what? Did you request the certificate? Yes, I. And what happened? Did you have any problem? No, nothing, anything. So it was, was it good? Yes, I have my certificate. Already, so there, there were no problem with the date, nothing. All right, so it might be working now at a seven. So, okay. yeah, because if she didn't have any problems, so it might be working right now. So okay, but you got, well, my question. You got the date correctly, Katya? like from the course the year it was everything good i'm going to see all right <laughs> okay no problem no problem all right so um well guys we are today uh we're going to start now we're just eight of us today 
but you know, time is gold. So um, we're going to see uh, today, we're going to have a lot of information to learn. The, the day, teacher, the day is the 27th, the <laughs> July 27th, mm -hmm. uh, 30 August, August. All right, so, but you got the year correctly, so there's no problem about that. I think that they, I don't know why, but, bueno, no, no sé por qué, pero esa es la fecha que han puesto, 27 de julio al 30 de agosto del 2021, y en general el 31 de agosto, dice, pero sí dice pre-intermedio módulo 3. All right, so you got this, okay, okay, so it's good now. All right, thank you so much for showing me that, because yesterday, um, I was telling to Sandra because there were some problems in the platform. So we got some messages from other students saying that the certificate was with a different date. So they said that they were going to fix that, but apparently they already did it. If you got it correctly, so it's, it means that it's already working. So, and congratulations, Katia, for completing the platform. That's a very good job. Thank you, teacher. All right, so apparently it's gonna be just seven of us today because as you can see, it's already 20.04, but well, we're going to see that probably during the, during the class, the other ones are going to be connected. So just let me see. Today, we're going to see something that it might be not that complicated. Today we're going to see the comparative, comparative adjectives. So uh, it could probably be easier for you because you know you already did this um, these exercises on the on the platform, right? So it might not be that difficult for you. So today we're going to see just the general information, some rules that you need to know in order to understand. Uh, the whole thing about the comparative adjectives, because there's some grammatical rules that we need to know, and uh, that's what we're going to see today. But I'm pretty sure that some of you already know what we're talking about, okay? So uh, I'm not going to take, it's not going to take that much, but we're going to see what is that. So I might need some help. Any volunteer that would like to help me with this? Anyone? Okay, go ahead, Katia. What are comparative adjectives? Comparative adjectives are words used to compare, compare the difference between two things. Perfect. All right. So as the word says, comparative, we use them to compare two things, two different things, and to compare the difference between them. We have some examples right here. Smaller, bigger, right? So smaller and bigger. Those are just general uh, examples. And well, after that, let's go to this one. How do we make words comparative? So I will also need some help. Because let me see. Eunice Ramirez, I will need your help for this. Thank you so much. To make a comparative word, you must change the adjective to the comparative to the comparative form. All right, so do you remember what is must? Must, it is obviously a model verb, right? But what is must? Do, do you remember that model verbs, they had like some specific thing that they were, they supposed to do like obligations and things like that. So what is must? Yeah. No. Did someone say anything? It's like must is like um, something strong that you have too. What were you going to say, Katya? 
Teacher, eh, eh, ¿cómo se pronuncia? <laughs> eh, aquí dice, con, on the adjective to be compar comparative. 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 Uh, thank you. Okay, so must is obviously, obviously an obligation 100%. That you, can, that you cannot avoid it. It means that you have to do it. So you must. That's an 100% obligation. So as it says over there, to make a comparative word, you must change the adjective to the comparative word. So let's find out how that's supposed to be. Small, smaller, right? That's how it is. That's the general rule. So very easy, right? So let's see. It's time for us to find out which are the rules that we have to follow in order to understand how do we create the comparative adjectives. We have some rules that is very important in grammar that you know, because if not, you might, you might uh, have some mistakes while you speak or while you're writing something. And it is very important that you know the rules. So we are going to go one by one. And here we have the first one. So something that you need to remember, it is this. I might need some help. So I'm going to ask someone. Let me see. Jenny Gloribel, are you there? Yes. Go yes, ahead. With regular one syllable. Adjective, we add a herb to make the comparative form. Okay, very easy and very simple. With regular one syllable, one syllable adjective, we only add er at the end and easily that will be comparative. Let me show you an example. We have fast. That's one syllable adjective. What do we do? As the rule number one says, we just have to add ER at the end and it will be like this, faster. Yeah, simple as that. That's the first rule. I think that is, it is not that much complicated, so it's very easy to understand. So, we have also rule number two. See, I need some help as well. So let me ask, let's see. Claudia Patricia, are you there? Huh? Can you help me reading, please? We no. Repeat, please, teacher. No, no listen. No, you just help me reading. Um, um, Rita. With regular one and two is syllable adjective that and in E, we... No. How do we say that letter in English? <laughs> A. Are you sure? <laughs> How do we say that letter, guys? Why? I. The letter Y. Y, yes. We remove the Y and L air to make the comparative form. All right, thank you so much. As you can see there, it says that with the regular one and two syllable adjectives that end in the letter Y, we just remove the letter Y and we just have to add 
It, it means we change the letter Y for a letter I, and we just add ER at the end to make the comparative form. So a very common adjective, happy. So what do we do? We just change the letter Y for a letter E, I'm sorry, for a letter I, and we add ER. So happy, happier. What does it mean when I say happier? Does any of you know? Más feliz. Too much happy. Más feliz. Más feliz. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. More happy then. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, um, release, right? This is the rule number two, release. So let's go to the number three. Joaquin, can you help me reading that part, please? Okay. With adjective that an end, the end with a single vowel followed by single consonant. The consonant that is double and er is added. Is added. What does that mean? That sometimes we have some adjectives that they have this pattern. Consonant, mm -hmm. vowel, and consonant. You can see there, right? Letter B letter I and letter G. So if we have that pattern, consonant, vowel, consonant, what are we going to do? Really easy. We are going to double the last consonant and we are going to add ER at the end. So it will be something like this, bigger. So keep that in mind. Only if only we have this pattern, consonant, vowel, and consonant. We will double the last consonant and we will add ER at the end to make it a comparative. That's it. So uh, this is really simple, guys. It's not that complicated. And because you already did some exercises at the platform, this might not be that hard for you. So I might need some help from any one of you, any volunteer that would like to help me reading this. Me. Go ahead, Sandra. Uh, these two syllable adjectives that don't end in Y and all three syllable uh, adjectives, we are more before the adjective. Thank you so much. So it says that for the two syllable adjectives, which do not end in the letter Y and the three syllable adjectives, because they are longer, they are longer, so what do we do? We have to add the, le the word more before the adjective and then the adjective. An example, beautiful. As you can see there, how many syllables do we have? Can someone tell me? How many syllables does that word have? More beautiful. How many? More beautiful. Yeah, that, that's the comparative, but how many syllables does that word have? Maybe three. Three, four. If, if you three. said three, tell me which one are these. U, 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 U. All right. So who said four? I heard someone that said four. Four, no. Is there four? Is there no. three? Mm -mm, only three. I think three. Three. Which one are these, Katya? You. You. Beautiful. All right. Beautiful. Three of them, right? Three. Beautiful. So. Beautiful. As the rule says, if it has three syllables, we have to add the word more. So more beautiful, beautiful. all right? So at the moment that we add more beautiful, at the moment, it will turn out as an, ad, as an comparative adjective, all right? Very mm -hmm. easy. Those are the main rules that we have for the comparative adjectives. There's just four of them. Um, 
but we will also have some irregular comparative adjectives. With the irregular yes. comparative adjectives, it will be important that you learn that, that you remember them because uh, there's not a way to make them comparative. They have already their own form to be a comparative. And we're going to find that out. So the irregular uh, comparative adjectives. Help me reading Stephanie Roxana. Okay, the irregular adjectives don't follow this rule. So you must memorize them. All right, as you see there, it's mandatory. Mandatory that you must memorize them. There is no other way for you to remember them. And they are not that much. I mean, it's just like three, four, like five of them that you need to memorize them. It's really easy. So we're going to go one by one. We have, does any of you know what's the comparative for good? Best. Better. Better. Better or best? I heard someone said best. Maybe. Raise your hand if you if you agree that it's better. Raise no, your it's hand. best. Better. Best. Okay. Let's no. let's find the out. Comparative is better. So the comparative <laughs> it is better because if you said best, that is not a comparative. That is a superlative. Yes. Yeah. A superlative. So the comparative is better. So let's find out another one. What's the comparative for bad? Bad. Worse. 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 Correct. Worse. Worse. What's the comparative for far? Uh, farther. Farther. Correct. Very good. Farther. And what's the comparative for well? Well. Good. Well is best. 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 Good. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, uh, better. Better? Maybe better. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't know. Yeah, correct. <laughs> because remember yeah. that good and well, they are synonyms, right? So they both have the same um, comparative form. All right. So uh, as you can see here, those are the four most common um, comparative adjectives, which they do not have, or we do not make in comparative by adding ER or changing something. Why? Because they already have their own form to be comparative. That's it. So that's why it says over there, you must memorize them. As you can see, there, there is just four of them. So it's not that complicated for you to memorize them, all right? So any questions so far, guys? Everything is getting clear? I think that you're, you already know this, right? So it's not that complicated for you. That's why I'm not taking that, that much time for you to like asking you questions or something like that. So, but there's no question, right? Hmm. I need I a yes so. or a no. I don't think so, teacher. All right, so no question, perfect. So let's go to the next one. How do we create a sentence in a comparative way. How do we do it? Very simple. We just have to follow this structure. Subject or noun plus a verb plus comparative adjective plus then plus direct object or a noun. Let's see some examples. Here we have Jill is faster than Todd. What is the subject in the first sentence? Jill. Jill. The verb, it is 
obviously which verb? Is. Is, is. that is the verb is. is. The comparative adjective, it is obviously faster. Faster. Right? The word then yeah. and the direct so. object or a noun in this case is going to be top. So if I say Jill is faster than Todd, what, what am I saying? Um, Jill runs faster than Todd. But if I say the first, like in the first one, if I say Jill is faster than Todd, what am I saying? Que uno le gana al otro. Right, the one is faster than the other one, right? We are comparing yeah. two of them. So the next one, my brother is clumsier than me. My Ooh. brother is clumsier <laughs> than me. Clumsier. Yeah. What does it mean, teacher? Clumsy yeah. is como más es clumsy es un tonto. <laughs> my brother is clumsier, es más tonto que yo. All right. My brother is clumsier than me. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, as, uh, as I was telling you before, something that you have to keep in mind is really simple. For you to understand how are you going to um, create those <sighs> sentences, very easy. You just have to remember this structure or this formula, and that's going to be it. I know that it's not that complicated for you because you already worked that on the platform. So... Let's continue with this. And here we have uh, like kind of exceptions that we can have. As you can see there, it says, however, you can make the comparison without using the word then. We already know that as the examples here, in order for you to compare two things, here, at least in these sentences, we need the word then, right? That in mm -hmm. Spanish is will be something like K, okay. right? It will mean K. But as it says here, there's some exceptions. We can still make comparison with two things without using the word then. And we have some examples over there. You might be tall, but I'm taller. You can see there. The sentence is not using the word then, but still we're making comparison. Why? But because I'm saying that I might be tall, that you might be tall, but I'm taller. Yes? So I'm not using the word then, but I'm still doing comparison between two things, right? So these ones are exceptions that you could probably see, like if you are reading something or if you see something on English or something like that. So now you will know that this is comparison even though you're not using the word then. So number two, I need to buy a more modern phone. Why are we using more if we have the adjective modern? Why am I using more over there? Does any of you know? A more modern, well, because modern, well, it is it is desirable only, but it's a, I suppose is is something weird. Do you remember the rule that said that for two syllables that which did not end the letter Y or three syllables we add the, the word more? That's right. So mm. that's over there. So um, we can also use, guys, some quantifiers. Do you know what quantifiers are? Quantifiers, um, a lot, a few, something like that, like that. A little, a little, yeah. Like that. So as you can see here, we have two examples. I found this assignment a little easier than the last one. So what's the quantifier over there? A little, right? I'm saying um, I can use a quantifier before using 
the comparative adjective, then the word then, and obviously the direct object or the noun, right? So number two, my new car is a lot quieter than my old rickety one. Yes? So any questions so far, guys? What is quieter, teacher? Quieter? What is quiet? Do you know what quiet means? If I tell you, be quiet, please. What do you understand if I say that? Um, no, if I say quiet, please. Okay, quieto, no, pues. Quiet. It's, it says. Tipo de contabilidad. Con, cantidad. No, the quantifier over there is a lot. So the comparative Quiet. adjective is quiet. Like that, silencioso. Es mi nuevo carro es mucho más silencioso que mi viejo Rickety One. Yes, so silencioso, all right. So any question that you may have right now? Because if there is no questions, we are going to go to the practice, guys. Because on yeah. this topic, there's no that much information and because you already know pretty much. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Uh, what does it mean, rickety? Rickety is just the name that, for example, rickety is uh, it's like a brand of car. Mm. Okay. Like Cadillac? Yeah, like that. Some brand. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, no yeah. questions at all? I need a yes or a no? No. No, no questions. Too. All right, if there is no question, guys, I need you to please take a photo of this because we're going to go to work um, in the breakout rooms. So um, this is the part that you're going to be working on, but also I will request you to create three sentences, each one of you, using three different adjectives and using obviously the comparative. So moreover than this, you will also need to create three sentences using comparative adjectives and three different adjectives. I don't need you to use the same ones, all right? So that's why I'm asking you one more time. Is there any question that you might have? With this example, teacher. Okay. These examples, you will have to resolve them in groups, right? We are going to go to the breakout rooms, but furthermore, you will have, you will also have to create three sentences, each one of the group, using three different uh, adjectives and obviously comparative, right? So do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. All right, no questions at all? No questions at all. All right, so. Let's go to the breakout room. So we are 15 today. We're going to go in groups of five. Let me see. Yeah. See, three, three, three. <sighs> and. Okay, track is. Then prop. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. So right now we're going to go to the breakout rooms, guys, and uh, I need you to please try to speak English over there. L yesterday, I saw the majority of you were speaking in English while working on the breakout rooms. That was something really good. I see that you're following the rules, that you're practicing your English with your classmates, and that's something really good. So thank you so much for that. So let's go to the breakout rooms, okay?
Here I am again. Okay, let me add you to, to a group. Let me see. Two, maybe four. Okay. All right. Okay, Reinaldo. Yes, I understand a little. Okay. For example, okay. we using the fra fraction proof. Yes. No? Yes. Okay. Frac is smaller than fruit. That is. Frac is smaller. Is smaller than fruit. Mm -hmm. We use uh, dan. The phrase. Yes. Dan. Yes. We need. Brand is is uh, better. better, better, right? Better that frog. Mm -hmm. uh, if fruit is good, two than fruit. Frog is. Frog is the worst. The second is worse because frog is not good and frog is good. I think it's worse. Okay, quizá no he comprendido cómo, cómo realizar las oraciones. Okay, okay. In the exercise, we put the adjective comparative, right? Uh -huh. And we have. Okay. 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 I can do it. I can so play the picture. Let's continue with number four. Oh. Mm -hmm. Number four. Rock is. Um, frog uh, is where? Who is frog? Frog is uh, smaller. Smaller than. Smaller than. Frog. Mm, but it does. We don't have mm -hmm. that adjective. Well, but over here maybe. Uh, so I don't maybe, know if we can use it. We just have other. And nicer, beautiful. Okay, nicer. Well, well, but the teacher said that it, it was not necessary to use the same adjectives. Okay, there. okay. Uh -huh. So we have frog. Frog is smaller than fruit. Yeah, it's a good uh -huh. one. Okay. Smaller. 
No. The next one. Greg, Greg is done. Greg is done fruit. Bigger. Is better. Better. Greg is better than pro. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no, happier. So happier. Can... Happier. Happier. Is more, is yes, igual, more, more beautiful. Is more, possiblemente. The number four is. How are you doing, so, guys? Do you still four, need see. more time? Yes, teacher, because Jenny, uh, we don't, um, I don't understand me that when I explicate the exercise, but we got, uh, she got it and it's okay. All right, so no problem. Yes. Thank you. Um, Fran is. I think it is two. Do you still need more time, guys? Or you're about to finish. Yes, we finish. I, I finished, teacher. We finish. All right. So remember that they were all these exercises with the with the frogs, but also you need to create three sentences using comparative adjectives, each one of you. So because it is Reinaldo, you will need to create three sentences, Liliana three and Erling three. Um, ready to do that? No, we we uh, make three for group three using uh, frog fresh fruit. No, I mean three on the group. You have to uh, resolve. Yeah, yeah. You have to resolve <laughs> all of them. Uh, these ones, you have to resolve them, and after that extra, like number two, you have to create each one of you three sentences using comparative adjectives. Okay. Mm, okay. All right. Yes. <laughs> so keep on working. Okay. okay. We need more Wait. time. Okay, no problem. Es más joven que Fro. Ah, es que una se llama Fra. La otra Fre y la otra Fru. <laughs> no me había fijado en esto. Entonces, Fra y Yonga dan Fro. Fruit. La más joven. Sí, es más joven que fruit. Hola, Fred. Do you still need more time? Fruit is older than Fred. <laughs> you still need more time, girl? Fruit Excuse me, teacher, what did do you, you say? Still, do you still need more time? Or you are about to finish? The, the three sentence we we have, but in an example that Brad. You're still doing that? Yes. All right, no problem. Okay, no problem. So is Claudia participating with you? Yes. All right, cool. Okay, Brad is... Do you still need more time, guys, or you already finished? We have problem with Frig, just. Right, Frig is is happier. He's happier than Frog. Mm. Frog is and the. And the eight, seventh, if frag, frag is clear, true. Smaller? It's smaller. Smaller? Mm. Smaller than fruit. Than fruit. It's smaller. It's smaller uh -huh. than fruit. Than fruit. Yes. Yeah. Could be. It's the last one. Yeah, so finished. So we can say that we are done, right? Yes. So you already did the three sentences, which one of you? Oh, all of them. Yes. Yeah, we made all of them. No, I mean, 
Uh, so we had the, the, the little frogs over there on the picture, right? So you needed to resolve yes. all of them, but furthermore, each one of you needed to create three sentences, each one using a comparative adjective. Oh, uh, but not exactly with the, with the frogs. The frogs picture you needed to resolve it in groups, but furthermore, yes, you need to do three sentences, each one of you using one different adjective in each one of the sentences. All right, so you still have to work on that. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> Sorry, we haven't done that yet. Right, no problem. Uh, let's see. Mm. Eso también es smaller than fruit. Ya lo dijimos, ¿verdad? Frank is smaller. Sí, es smaller. Teacher. Uh -huh. Y para decir sorprendido, en inglés, ¿cómo sería? Surprised. But, so, but, but surprised. What are, what are you trying to say? And the frog is more surprised than frog. That's it. Okay. Uh, more so remember that the sentence says that you need to create, it is three each one. It is not three for per group, it is three each one. It means three you, Katya, and three Candida. It's not three for the group. Yes. But the, the three yes. Sentences. The, the sentences. Yes. Yes, yes. We, we have that. All right, no problem. So I just wanted to clarify that. That is. Uh, the last, the three sentences. So guys, you ready finish? Yeah. So you ready finish the yes. three sentences, each one of you? So it is three um, Ise and three you, Jenny. It is not three for the group. It is Ah, oh, okay, okay. So yeah. three each one. And remember, in each one of them, you will need to use a different adjective. Okay. Not okay. the same. Okay. I just wanted to clarify that. Okay. Right, guys, I think that you already have enough time to work on that. So hopefully you finished all that. I know that it was probably kind of complicated to look for different adjectives, but that's the way that you put your mind to work, okay? So um, let me see, we are 13. So I remember Joaquin. Which ones, which people were, uh, were in your group? Um, Carla and Sandra Araceli. Carla, 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 Carla Lima, right? Okay. Carla Lima and, and Sandra Araceli. So um, as I can see here on the, on the frogs, there were one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight sentences. So the group of Joaquin, Joaquin, you will tell me three. You, Sandra, you will tell me three. And the last two, it will be Carla. So go ahead. I need to see what did you do. Okay. And the number one, frag is younger uh, than frag. Frag is smaller than other frogs. Frag, frag is happier okay. than other frogs. Can you repeat the number two? Frog is smaller than other frogs. Okay. Frog is happier than other frogs. Es más contenta. Can you repeat the number three? Frog, frog is happier than other frogs. Okay, okay, very good. Sandra. Mm -hmm. Continue with the with the phrases with the with the frog teacher? Yes, the next three. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Frag, no. Frag is happier than frog. Frag is more innocent than frog. And frog is smaller than frog. Okay, okay. Innocent, okay? Innocent. Okay, uh, Carla, the last two. Okay, so let, wait a minute. I have to see the picture. Okay. So we have frag is more beautiful than frog, and frog is younger than frog. Okay, very good. So now, your group, please give me, uh, I would choose one of you. So Sandra, give me the three examples yeah. that you wrote. The okay. Uh, a mountain is higher than a hill. Okay. Uh, number, two, number two, traveling by Airplane is more is safer, safer than in a ship. Safer or safer? What do you mean? Safer, safer. Oh, okay, good. And the, the third one? And the third one, heaven is holier than the earth. Okay, very good. So okay. Katya, your group, who was with you? Candida Reyes and Claudia Rivas. Okay, Candida Reyes and Claudia. So, Katia, you will do the first three, Candida the next three, and Claudia the last two, okay? So go ahead, let me see what, what you got. Okay, Frag is younger than Prue is older than Fred. And Fred is happier than Fred. Okay. Cantida. What number, please? The next three. So she did the first three. So we you you will go for four, five, and six. Oh. Um, only three. Three. Three is happier than flat. Okay. The uh, last no copy. <laughs> you didn't copy it. Mm -mm, no. Okay, so Claudia or Carla? No, no, Claudia, right? Yes, okay. So Claudia, the last two. Claudia, did she participate? Okay, yes, you're there. 
Hey, eh, es que se me, se me corta bien feo. No problem. Did, did you do the last two? No Ni he entendido porque solo se me va la señal. Um, two, era. No, the last, the last two. No. Well, I think she's having problems with her internet. So no problem, Claudia, it's okay. So we know that sometimes internet doesn't want to help us, all right? So Eunice, who was or who were in your group? Which people was with you? Jenny, Ricardo, and Charlie. But I think Charlie have a problem with, with, with his microphone because she, he don't talk. So he didn't, he didn't say anything? Yes. So what about uh, Ricardo? Yes, he told. Okay, no problem. So it will be the first three, it will be you and when he said, then it will be who you said? Oh, Jenny, right? Jenny. So it will be Jenny and the last two, Ricardo. Okay. Frog is younger than frog. Frog is older than Fred. Fred is bigger than frog. Okay. Jenny? Yes, teacher. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Fran is a uh, more more ugly than fruit okay uh, so red stop it there uh, ugly so no. stop it there so guys is there a problem or is there a mistake about what is she saying she said frog is more ugly uglier is that what you said or yes more Oh, yeah. is, is that right? Uglier. No. So, Jenny, we have to say uglier. You do not have to add the word more. So, sorry. So we say frag is uglier than frog. Uglier? Uglier. 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 Uglier, Ugly. than, Uglier. Yes. Uglier wow. than frog. Okay, very good. The next one. Okay. Uh, Fred is more beautiful than fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, Fran is better than fruit. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, who else? Uh, Ricardo, right? Okay, uh, creo que entonces sería uh, Frag is more famous than Fra. Mm -hmm. um, Frag is more, Frag is smaller than Fra. Smaller, creo que no, es, no sé si es more smaller o solo smaller. Smaller. Smaller, okay. Um, Frag is more, uh, Frag is more intelligent than Fra. This is all my sentences. Okay, very good. So, Katia, give me the three examples or the three sentences you brought. I forgot to ask you, but I don't remember now. Okay, teacher. Um, wait, wait. Okay. So, if you don't have it, so let's. One, uh, oh, you no, have no, it. No. Okay. Okay. My sister is angrier than me. Angrier? Me, angrier. Do my work is heavier than my cousins. Mm -hmm. And number three, Luis is more polite than Oscar. Okay, very good. So, Eunice, 
Give me the three sentences you wrote. Okay, number one, my house is bigger than yours. Mm -hmm. I am more polite than my brother. And my father is taller than my mother. Very good. So, and we finished with the group of Erling. Who was in your group? I work with Liliana and Reinaldo. And Reinaldo. Okay, so yes. you will do the first three, then it goes Reinaldo with the next three, and Liliana will, will tell us the last two. So go ahead. Okay. Okay, the same one. My mother cooks better than me. Russia is bigger than China. My sister's house is farther from the supermarket than mine. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, thank you. Uh, me, Jeff. Yes, go ahead. I run faster than my sister. Uh -huh. Roxana is best friend uh, than just me. And my people dog is most beautiful than your chihuahua. Okay, <laughs> very good. So, uh, Liliana, right? Soda is cheaper than wine. I am taller than my sister. My sister is younger than me. Okay, very good. So I think guys that this topic, it was kind of easy for you because you already know what, how to use them and how to create some questions, right? how to create sentences and things like that. So uh, if there is no questions or nothing to add, so just let me tell you why, guys, the ones that haven't finished the platform yet, please try to do it so you can get your certificate. And because we are about to finish the module, we just have four classes more and that will be it. So please, guys, try to do it. So if there's no question, it was a pleasure for me to be with you one more time and take care of yourselves and good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Bye.